Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing uh, the Fairweather tab. Now, I have the recurve tab and uh, the finger spacer for that tab here. Uh, as a note, they did change the packaging of uh, the finger spacer actually comes in a really nice box now. So uh, just to let you know that this is the old packaging. Uh, for the tab, uh, there is one extra plate in this container. And I'll be telling you uh, how you can order that because it is a separate piece. But basically I will be showing you everything you get. There's just a few extras that I have in here. So right off the bat, this case is beautiful. Um, it reminds me uh, very much like a, uh, a case for like sunglasses or something like that. Uh, it has a nice hard shell to it, but it's not super hard because it's, um, but it's, it's a nice in between. It's not plastic. Uh, a majority, if not all the tabs on the market come in some kind of plastic case. And this is, well, not the case. Uh, this is very professional looking. It has... Uh, the Fairweather logo on the front. It even says Fairweather on the zipper here. And as we unzip it, it opens up quite nicely. Very cool here. We have our tab uh, strapped down here. And then we have a little slot for our plates. So just from looking at this right now, you really do get a good sense of value. Fairweather is taking their time to you know, nicely package up your finger tab and then make sure that it gets sent to you, you know, in pristine condition and while it's nicely organized and ready to go. So uh, the first things we're gonna take out is from this little pocket here. We have two different palm plates. This one in black is a plastic palm plate. Uh, this comes standard with your finger tab. Now, for an additional uh, charge, you can get uh, the much heavier uh, aluminum palm plate here. This does not come standard with uh, you know the full uh, package. You would have to buy it separately. And of course, that's for a shooter that wants a heavier finger tab. Uh, you know, if you're somebody that is already shooting a heavy tab, then you probably want to go for this aluminum plate. Uh, if not, I think the plastic one's probably going to be fine, and then you can always buy this separately in the future. But uh, that is the one piece that is not included when you normally order uh, this setup. Normally you just get the plastic plate, you get the full finger tab, and then you will individually order your finger spacer uh, that actually fits the size of your finger because they have them all sized up. Like right here, I have a 21. Uh, you may be an 18, or you might be a 25. Uh, or you might even be you know, a larger or smaller size than that. But Fairweather takes care of you. They have a variety of sizes, and they have a very well explained way of figuring out your ring size and what uh, size finger spacer you need. And then you can order it and you can get the right one for your tab. So pretty cool. Other than that, uh, taking uh, this finger tab out here, uh, you can see that it comes right apart, nice and easy. There's only one screw hole holding this down, which is pretty cool. And you get three pieces of kangaroo leather. Yes, you're supposed to get three pieces of kangaroo leather, and you're supposed to use all three. Uh, because what you're going to do is you're going to have one obviously that's going to face the string. You're going to have an extra one just to, to add thickness to it so the string's not cutting into your hands. And the third one is going to be uh, usually rotated the opposite way and that's going to face your fingers. And that way you get, with three pieces of kangaroo hide, you get the same thickness as having a piece of cordovan and a piece of suede. Now, uh, you could probably add your own piece of suede or, or see if Fairweather sells a piece of suede for your recurve tab. I know they're making them for Barebow. 
and then you could run one piece of kangaroo and one piece of suede if you're you know really in to uh, having suede backing. But uh, for me, I'm going to be testing this out with the three layers of kangaroo. And I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how well it performs. I know the break-in period for this uh, kangaroo hide is extremely quick. It's basically instant. You basically just lightly wet the tab here. And then from the first shot, you'll put a nice crease in the leather and it will uh, it'll maintain that crease and it'll work right away you don't have to really break it in and if you do it's only you know a few shots it's only maybe one day at the most uh, there's actually reports from people that have backup fairweather tabs that they never use and they've actually switched them by accident and their scores <laughs> didn't change so uh, it just shows you you know kind of how easy uh, the kangaroo leather is to work with and well, I'm gonna find that out as I do my testing on this Now it probably dawned on you Anthony You you told us, you know, this aluminum one here is an extra, you know you, you have to buy it separately, but how come you just got two of these do we get two of these and uh, yes You should get two of these because if you look closely this one has a shelf nice shelf this one in this little baggie break it out no shelf so if you're a, a shooter that likes a shelf they give you a shelf if you're a shooter that doesn't like a shelf they also give you a plate that doesn't have a shelf uh, that's that's really going you know that's that's fair where they're really thinking ahead and going out of their way I think to uh, make sure that you know the customer is is happy and the archer is is getting what they need right out of the box and uh, you know just they're putting it into your hand to, to shoot, and I think that's pretty sweet. But uh, with that, that pretty much wraps up this unboxing of uh, the Fairweather tab. Really straightforward and easy. I really like the thought that uh, Fairweather has put into designing the layout of their tabs and how it all just nicely fits together and is a really simple process to, to assemble. Like, once you put your finger spacer and, and you know the ring in the back here, you screw the one screw in and your tab's done. In the past, I've, I've spent a long time uh, putting together finger tabs. So I can't wait to thoroughly test this and give you guys uh, my feedback after actually using it. But from what I can see right now, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it. But, you know, time will tell. So if you want to find out on, on pricing, uh, who sells these in your local area, uh, I would definitely recommend checking out Fairweather's website down below. We'll also have a link uh, to the Lancaster site for uh, North American uh, archers because that is the main distributor in the United States. I was told by Fairweather that they have a ton of distributors in Europe, so you know, check your, uh, your local distributor through the Fairweather site for that. Again, sizing for your ring size. That's, there's plenty of information on it at the Fairweather website. And besides that, don't, uh, don't forget to check them out on uh, their, their Instagram or on their Facebook. Uh, they're always putting up very helpful stuff on their finger tabs and you can see uh, the community that is behind uh, these tabs. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and as always, happy shooting.